Hello everyone, welcome to the Market Outlook for the week. Gaurang Shah here from Jujit Financial Services and uh, as it was discussed uh, last week uh, on the outlook for the market, uh, our belief was that market could gain some strength and momentum and that is what exactly has been exhibited for the entire week, last week in fact. And we've gained a good amount of ground on the upside. Uh, as I speak to you this Monday morning, uh, Sensex is trading uh, up uh, about 380 points at about 57,960. Uh, Nifty is at about 17,280, up about 120 points. Bank Nifty, Nifty Bank, 37,750, up about 260 points. And the rupee dollar equation with some strength on the rupee against the dollar at uh, 79.18 as I speak to you. And in the end, on the energy basket, uh, $103 per barrel on the Brent. $97 per barrel is what is uh, the level of uh, NYMEX. Uh, the sense for the week uh, that we are going to witness, uh, well, after seeing uh, the strength uh, for the entire week last week and the gains that we have uh, gained, it's only prudent to expect one or two days of profit booking either today, tomorrow. And I don't think anybody has to complain for that given the kind of momentum that we've seen on the upside. Uh, could be a little bit of profit booking, but uh, as it was advised earlier, and our uh, many interactions, I always mentioned that uh, our view at Geojit is that it's only prudent to buy on dips, quality names and stocks where earnings visibility is there. And of course, uh, management credibility is there. Uh, earnings for the first quarter, whatever we've seen up till now, uh, there have been some misses, but no large dark spots is what I could possibly uh, sum up to on earnings, whatever we've seen up till date. There are more earnings for the next uh, week, two weeks. Uh, expect uh, in-line expectation with no great disappointments. Uh, 5th August, that is uh, the credit policy day. Uh, RBI will announce its uh, policy decision on 5th of August. And um, our sense is that possibly there could be a little bit of change on the interest rates with a little bit of uh, uh, accommodative stance uh, outlook on uh, the economy and of course not to forget uh, the numbers on the inflation front that we've seen for the last three months and the last number that we saw was lower than the earlier months that we've seen so there could be a possibility and of course the honorable uh, governor rbi governor had mentioned that uh, expect inflation to cool off a little bit and uh, edge lower so i think uh, there could be a accommodative stance along with a small change if it is uh, on the interest rate front. Uh, news from the global front, uh, no negativity is positivity for us and uh, on the FIs there have been uh, days of uh, buying on the markets uh, as far as the cash market is concerned. So to sum up the market that we've seen uh, and uh, what remains to be seen for this week, barring one as I mentioned barring a uh, couple of days of profit booking given the momentum and of course short to medium term you know trades uh, could possibly get uh, could possibly see some profit booking and it's only prudent to take money off the table i had mentioned it even our, uh, in our last interaction that if you're trading from a short to medium term try to take uh, money off the table and from a long to point of period uh, long term point of view uh, i expect uh, the moment to momentum to continue of course uh, Assuming that there is no negative news flow from uh, global front or from the local front. Uh, what we've seen on the earnings front, well, uh, I think banks have delivered well. Autos, uh, some names have, uh, names have done well. FMCG, some names have done well. So to give uh, give some investment ideas, uh, well, from the IT universe, what I saw was that mid-cap IT delivered much better than the large-cap IT names. So over there, you have names like KPIT Tech. Uh, fundamentally, we remain extremely positive at Geojit on this name in the mid-cap IT universe, KPIT Tech. On the autos, uh, I've been speaking about autos as a confident buy call for those investors who are a little bit of elevated uh, risk appetite and I think autos have done fantastically well. So m and and Tata Motors would be the two name. Uh, of course, m and did fantastically well uh, as far as the uh, bookings are concerned. Uh, Scorpio N recorded almost uh, 1 lakh uh, booking. Uh, on the earnings run, Tata Motor it did disappoint. We saw some correction, but uh, the uh, outlook from the management in terms of growth trajectory 
is extremely strong and they are very confident that they will overcome all the hurdles. So Tata Motor and uh, M&M would be the two investment ideas from the auto. On the FMCG basket, well, uh, Tata Consumer Products and of course the big boy uh, Hindustan Unilever. Uh, our sense is that uh, India is a consumption driven story and I think uh, in bad times where there are inflationary pressures, inflation could slow down but it will not stop. So you have alternatives over there. So I, my, and of course with good monsoon, uh, the rural demand is likely to come back uh, thick and thin, wherein you will see volume growth also coming back for the FMCG sector. Overall, uh, as I mentioned, uh, no deep correction, but expect a little bit of profit booking. And it's always prudent and healthy to for the markets to see a little bit of profit booking and correction after the uh, fantastic run up that we've seen for the entire week last uh, that has gone by. So buy on dubs would be the strategy. Uh, three investment ideas from three sectors, uh, uh, KPIT Tech from IT, m M&M and Tata Motors from Authos and uh, Tata Consumer and uh, Hindustan Unilever from the FMCG basket. Thank you very much for your patience hearing and I'll see you again next week. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.